What's going on? New setup. Um, a lot of things have been going on, but I'm here for another video and I just want to share with you guys some new tools that will help better your photography. And it's helped me out a lot and it really actually like helps me uh, think more when I'm shooting and helps me get a uh, tack sharp focus at the time of the shoot. So if you're interested in finding out these tools that I use, stay tuned. Let's roll that intro. All right guys, so these are the tools. Um, you're gonna need uh, either a tripod and a light stand or two tripods. And we're gonna go with a tripod and what I have right here is a C stand. And this setup, uh, I'm pretty sure you've heard of it. It's called tethered shooting. And so what you do is you connect your camera to your laptop. And when you shoot, the images go directly from your camera to your laptop. And then from there, it's on a bigger screen and you can view, focus, and the image on a larger screen rather than in back of your camera or Sony through the viewfinder if you want that loop look. So these are the tools that you're gonna need. Uh, one, you're gonna need a tether cord. And I personally use tether tools. Uh, I'm not sponsored by them or anything but I did have a cord that I got um, cheaper and it didn't last. So that's why I just forked up the money and invested in tether tools and haven't had an issue since. And another thing you're gonna need, uh, you're gonna need to be able to keep this secure to your camera. So I use a tether block I had this uh, just little, uh, I forgot what it's called, but it's, it's another like tether thing where you hook it to the side of your camera and it kind of secures it. But I used that before when I had Canon and it messed up the, the port, uh, the port where you plug it in. So uh, it was because a lot of times it would either get disconnected or uh, something happens where it would, uh, get bent inside of there. So the tether block is a great tool. Um, pretty expensive, but it works. Haven't had issues since. And this, what everything is on is called a tether tray. Um, tether tools have one, has one. And this one is by Benro. I particularly love this one. And that's what I use to mount my laptop. And you'll see that in just a second. But first, we're going to set up the camera so you guys can see how everything get, gets set up. So we're going to set up the camera. So we have the cord right here. And we're going to put it inside of the tether block. That's what this is and make sure you give it enough, uh, I forgot what it's called, but you wanna give it enough room for when you plug it inside the camera and it's not gonna be like too tight, it's not gonna be too loose. But then you just do this, you put it in right here, it has little grooves for the different size cords. You put it on the bottom of the camera, actually let me, flip it around this way so I can have a better, better um, alignment right here. So you just screw it in the back of the camera, I mean the bottom of the camera, like so. And gets a little hard sometimes, but once you find that groove, it's in 
and there we go. Let me just give it, there we go. That's in. We're gonna leave it loose for right now just so I can see where the thing is to, there we go. Then you're gonna put it in right there. So before I lock it in, I just like to make sure it's lined up. Okay, and then I use my keys. You can use a coin, quarter, nickel, dime, and then you just lock it in like so. I'll just put these back in my pocket. So now you have the tether block, tether cord into the camera. And now this is secure. And if anything happens, it's not messing with that. So then, oh, well, let me put the lens on the camera because we're going to be shooting, doing some test shots. So let me just, I just go like so. All right, and then the good thing about this is it's already a tripod mount. Uh, if you have a, I, I believe it's called an Arca Swiss, and you just slide it in, slide it in like so. Let me get this out of the way so you can see. Let me raise the tripod just so you can see this real quick. Raise. All right. So you just put it in to the tripod. And like I said, this is great for when you're in studio and you're on assignment and you just wanna um, be able to make sure you nail focus on set rather than shooting uh, free-handedly. And then when you get home, you see that there are files that are not in focus and that's not good. That is really not good. Um, especially on a big assignment, you really can't afford a reshoot. So that's that. So I'm gonna take this, put this out of the way right now. And now I'm gonna show you guys how to set up the laptop. So I use a 13 inch MacBook Pro because um, I like to be mobile and I take this laptop pretty much everywhere I go. So this right here, let me bring it in the frame. This right here secures the laptop onto this, this tray. So, you can either put it up here. And don't laugh at my setup um, for the USB cord to my hard drive. And then you would bring your camera in on the other side. And let me grab this. You would bring your camera in. And they make it this color so it could be easily visible uh, when you're working. Um, just because this didn't really work for when it was on a camera, this is another, uh, it's called a jerk stopper. That's what it is. I remember it. It's called a jerk stopper. Uh, just because it didn't work for the camera, it still works for the tether station. So, uh, just some added security. And then this is what I do. 
plug it in right here in this port. And then next, I'm gonna show you guys how to set up Capture One for tethered shooting. All right, guys, so right now I'm gonna show you guys how to set up tethered shooting in Capture One. I'm using Capture One because that's the software that I use when I shoot with Sony. So I'm about to show you guys how I set up a session and shoot tethered to Capture One. And so first things first, I'm going to open Capture One. And then I'm going to create a new session. And title the session. We're just going to call this Tethered uh, Test Tutorial. So we're going to call this. Let it load up. And there we go. We got capture one open. All right, so we have the camera set up, connected to the laptop, and now we can get to shooting. So mannequins right here. Is this leveled? Let me get the camera leveled real quick. Nope, it's not leveled, so. We're gonna shoot down a little bit because the um, the cameras face high. So, what I love about Sony is that you could do eye autofocus. I have that set up to my AF1 button, so especially when shooting portraits, it's it's great. And it finds the eye, it focuses on the eye, and then I take the photo, and there it is. It's and on the computer and you can see that the eyes in focus so if I grab this the eyes in focus and this is tether shooting uh, you can shoot shoot all day and the files go straight from the camera to the computer and one thing that I miss about uh, Canon was that the files would still save onto the SD card and go to the computer. And that was a good thing because you would have like that extra backup. So like say like uh, something were to crash, um, you have it on your laptop and you have it on your camera. But this is tethered shooting camera, laptop, cord, uh, something to set the camera on, I mean, set the laptop on. Um, before, I was using like TV trays and whatever I could prop the chairs, whatever I could prop the laptop on, but this just adds additional security. Um, laptop's not gonna slide off. Cord is secure on both areas and that's that all right guys so that was your first hand look on tether shooting setting it up and how it works and if you found this video helpful informative uh, let me know in the comments below um, if you'd like to see more videos please subscribe and hit that bell notification button when new videos drop so till then Let's live in abundance this year and peace.